Hey guys, what's up? This is William from TechRack and today I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 with Snowbreeze 2.5. I know I have jailbroken iOS 4.3.1 on my other video with Red Snow, but with on this on this video I'll show you how to jailbreak with Snowbreeze 2.5. All right, so I'm just gonna show you real quick that I am on iOS 4.3.1. So I'm just gonna about here and there you go. iOS 4.3.1. Alright, I'll just go back here. And the first thing you gotta do is you want to um, download Snow Breeze from the description down below, and you also want to download um, the IPSW or iOS firmware for your device. So I have all the links in the description down below. And all right, so um, once you have downloaded Snow Breeze and your IPSW, you want to have them both on your desktop. All right, so the next step is you want to launch Snow Breeze. Alright, so you want to launch Snow Breeze now, and after that, Snow Breeze um, would come up with a warning, and it will ask you to click, check for updates or click on OK. So, you just want to click on OK. Alright, so after that, you want to you want to click on the arrow right here or I mean you also want to click on the close right here and then after that you want to click on the arrow right here and then there should be IPSW selection alright so the thing you want to do is you want to drag down the IPSW from your desktop down here so I'm just gonna show you real quick drag it down here alright so it will say identifying IPSW and then um, you just wait a few moments here and yeah. Alright, so Snow Breeze has to finish verifying my IPSW and then I'll just click the next arrow to continue. Alright, so there will be two modes here. Um, and then you want to choose expert mode for more options. Alright, so we just want to click on that and then after that there should be a lot of options there which is general unlock custom boot logos custom packages and build IPS tell you so we're gonna go on general first and then click on the arrow right here and then there should be different options so all right um, it was it, um, there are in total four options for you which is enable battery percentage enable gestures menu install SSH and activate the iPhone so you want to have installed SSH um, ticked on as well as yeah that should be pop up coming up and there sh and then you want to have enable gestures menu ticked on and enable battery percentage ticked on and on root partition size you want to have it at 880 megabytes so um, after that you after you have chosen all that or tick on all that you want to go all the way or uh, you want to go on the arrow here and then after that um, it will say custom apps you just want to skip that and then you want to go on build or just want to click on build IPSW. All right, so we we'll just click on that and click on the arrow right here, and um, it says while waiting for the IPSW to finish being built, would you like to play Pac-Man? All right, so I will just skip through that and I'll just. All right, all right. So Snow Super Five has. To Finally finished building the IPSW and then after and then there should be a screen coming up saying done Snowbree seems to have successfully created your IPSW this file will be located on desktop please press press ok button below to follow on screen instructions to put your device in a reasonable restorable state alright so we'll just click on ok right now and then um you want to turn off your iDevice, alright, so 
Um, I'm just going to turn it off here. So I'm just going to click the or hold on the power button here. Alright, and then just want to slide to power off here. Alright, so make sure it's turned off. Alright, so after that, you want to click on start below the iPhone there. So, you just want to click on start right now. Alright, so you want to press the home power button. And then, yes, yeah, you just want to hold it for about 10 seconds. Alright, so it's currently entering the FU mode. So, release the power button and so you just want to release the power button and just keep holding your home button. So, just wait about like 30 seconds here. So, yeah, so iTunes popped up here. So, alright, so um, I'm just gonna let, let go here and it, it says. Your device is now in a pwn DFU state or black screen. Okay, so it says you may now launch iTunes and do shift restore to the to the custom so reach IPSW located on your desktop. So if you get error 2003 in iTunes after extracting, just unplug and replug and do it again. Alright, so um um so then you want to go on iTunes here, and as you can see, um, Snowbreeze created a and custom IPSW file on here. So um, yeah, it is here. Snowbreeze, Snowbreeze, how about touch? Phone three one IPSW. All right. So we just want to go on iTunes here, and then you want to click or hold on Shift on your keyboard, and then cl click on Restore. And then this should pop up, and then you want to locate snow, the Snowbreeze IPSW. So I'm just going to go to the desktop where it's located, and I'll just double click on Snowbreeze iPod Touch IPSW firmware. Alright, so it will say iTunes will erase and restore your iPod Touch to iOS 4 frame 1. And just want to hit on Restore. Alright, so it is currently extracting and... I'll be I'll skip once again once it finish extracting and installing iOS Full Frame One Untethered. All right, so um, the device has finished restoring stuff like that, and you can now set up your iPod and stuff like that. And as you can see here, I have Cydia and I am on iOS Four Point Three Point One. So. As you can see here, iOS 4.3.1 and you have also chosen multitasking gestures. So I'm just going to click on on here and then I'm just going to pinch to go back to home. So I'm going to go back here and then, ah, I don't know how to do this. But still, we have sitting here, we are on iOS 4.3.1, we have multitasking gestures and really nice here we have Cydia and thanks for watching this video please give my video a thumbs up for more videos like this um, comment down below if you encounter any question any problems and if you got any questions just leave a comment and subscribe to me for more videos like this one be sure to check out my red snow jailbreak video in the description down below Alright guys, this is William from TechRack signing out.